Hi, this is Tim with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to show you how to record payments in QuickBooks Online. You can view all 46 of our free QuickBooks Online tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorial. If you don't already have a subscription to QuickBooks, you can click the link below this video to receive 50% off for three months. So let's get started receiving a payment in QuickBooks Online. Click the New button at the top of your left menu bar. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to receive a payment from a customer. This assumes that you've already issued the invoice for the payment that's being received. If you receive payment at the time of service so that no invoice has previously been issued, you'll want to record a sales receipt which both records the revenue and the receipt of the payment in one transaction. But here, we're assuming you've already issued an invoice and now you're receiving the payment. So let's click Receive Payment. Okay, the Receive Payment screen, we can choose the customer from which we've received a payment. So let's choose something like Brian Tumbling, tumbling here. Notice it tells us there's no invoice to receive. Again, when we're receiving payments, it has to be for an invoice that has already been issued. If an invoice hasn't been issued, click on this Use a Sales Receipt and you can create both the record both the revenue and the payment collection at the same time. So let's choose a different customer. We'll go back to the top of the list and let's choose Aaron. So here it shows us that we do have an invoice outstanding for Aaron for Aaron for $150. So let's assume he's now paid us our $150. So the payment date is today. Payment method, he gave us a check and the check number we'll say was 1011 and we're going to deposit that to undeposited funds. Now we could choose the checking account, but we're not going to do that. And the undeposited funds account is very important and it's something that's confusing and a lot of people don't quite understand so let me take a second to explain it think about what the deposit is going to look like on your bank statement if you deposit multiple checks so if you give a cashier a teller at a bank five checks those five checks aren't going to individually appear on your bank statement they're going to be grouped together and they're going to appear as one lump sum deposit on your bank statement. So when you go to reconcile your bank account from your QuickBooks to your bank statement, if all five of those checks show up in QuickBooks as separate deposit amounts, it's going to be extremely difficult to reconcile since they're all lumped together on your bank statement. This is especially true if you have a lot of checks that are for the same amount. So you'll have a whole bunch of checks and you don't know exactly how they were grouped when they were deposited so you don't exactly know whose checks you received. So always use the undeposited funds account anytime there's going to be more than one check deposited. So the undeposited funds account essentially is like a paper clip. You're clipping all of the checks received together and making one lump sum deposit so that you can then easily trace from your QuickBooks deposit entry to your bank statement. Great, so we're going to receive multiple checks today. So I'm going to put them to undeposited funds. We received the $150, so I can just check that invoice. If there's multiple invoices, you can check whichever ones were received. If you don't receive the full amount, you could enter a payment for less than a full amount. Great, so we've received the $150, and that's all that's to it. Let's do save and new because I want to receive a second payment. Okay, I pull up my second check open my second envelope we see that Adam has also paid us he paid us with a check reference number we will say it was check 3055 again I'm putting it to undeposited funds not directly to the checking account we received this invoice for $58 and there we go we've already recorded the payment so save and close Okay, and that's all there is too to actually recording the payments received. Um, although it's a little outside this tutorial, I want to go ahead and talk just briefly about what happens next in the undeposited funds account because it is so important. Right now, those two checks we've received, they aren't sitting in our bank account 
in QuickBooks. They're sitting in a, an account called undeposited funds. So let's transfer those from undeposited funds to the bank account by making a bank deposit. So I'm going to click on new and then I'm going to come over here and let's say bank deposit. So now I want to actually take these and put these checks in the bank. So we're going to deposit them to our Chase checking account on today and now I'm going to come down here and look there are the two checks that we just received. By posting them to the undeposited funds account in that prior receive payment screen they now show up in our bank deposit window. So we received a check from Aaron, a check from Adam, total of $208. I can save and close this. Now when I look at my QuickBooks check register it's going to have a deposit for 208 which is going to match perfectly with the $208 deposit shown on my bank statement. If we deposited these two separately by choosing Chase checking account in the receive payment screen it would be very hard to reconcile to our checking account. Okay so common exam common problems I see people record them to the undeposited funds account and then when they receive them they come in here and they put them down here in the add funds to this deposit and then they've double counted them so make sure you put them into the undeposited funds then make a deposit taking them out of undeposited funds and into your bank account by clicking save and close now the two hundred eight dollars is reflected in our checking account in QuickBooks Online so there you go. That's how you record payments in QuickBooks Online, plus a little bonus lesson on how you transfer the funds out of undeposited funds and into your checking account. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you can view some more of our Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorials. Thank you very much, and have a great day.